Hello and thanks for joining us. I am Maria Soreo, joined today by the new president and CEO of our Chamber of Commerce, Eileen Hupp. Eileen, thanks so much for being here today. Thank you for inviting me in. You know, I know you've been a very busy lady getting ready for the street fair, and of course we're going to talk about that, but I thought it would be nice to have you come in and have the community meet you and find out a little Thank bit you. more about you. Okay, thanks. So tell us about you. I know that you've been here on the peninsula for 26 years. Yes. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about that. You're originally from New York. Correct. Okay, mm -hmm. but you have a family here. And yes. Let's talk about yeah. that. Where do you live now? Um, I live in Rolling Hills Estates, okay. and I have been a, a resident in Palos Verdes with my family for 26 years, moved here as a newlywed, Okay. and um, I have three children who have gone through the schools, the AYSO sports, all the local community you know, groups and volunteer organizations on the hill, so um, I'm very happy to be a part of this community. Okay, and you, yeah, mm -hmm. you've gotten to know a lot of people because you've done nonprofit work, yes. and you've been a volunteer, mm -hmm. and you've mm -hmm. worked here. What, what do you think is, the, is really the, the glue that holds this community together? Together. Oh, that is a great question, Maria. I would say um, I think there is um, a shared feeling of how lucky and how we are to live in this beautiful environment it and is. how special it is. Um, you know, each of our four cities has its own unique character and flavor, but we all come together as one Thank community you. and one school district and one library, and we all love being a part of Palos Verdes. And I think almost everyone you would talk to would say how fortunate we are to be able to live here and raise our families. So I think that's it. I also sense a very strong feeling of community involvement. I mean, mm -hmm. don't you think, I'm just blown away by the amount of um, philanthropic hours and other Very resources true. that are given to nonprofits, not just here in the South Bay, but across LA and really across the country. So, well, you know, I was just going to say yeah. that because mm -hmm. there's so many volunteers that people volunteer for everything here. Yes. And we, we go out to events and we meet people and we see the same people volunteering. Mm -hmm. So they love being a part of it. Yes. Yes. Which is really great. Yeah. So absolutely. So I think that's what, you know, to me, that's what makes Pulse Verde so special is not just the, the unique, you know, beauty of the peninsula, but also the people that are here. So. Very true. Yeah. Tell us more about your family. I know mm -hmm. you said your kids all went to school here. Yes. Yeah. yeah I have three children. Um, my oldest, Robbie, is a junior at University of Denver, okay. um, majoring in hospitality. And my daughter, Sarah, is a um, freshman at uh, University of Chicago. Wow. And she writes a monthly column for a local newspaper about her college experience. So How she's nice. enjoying that. And then my youngest, Emily, um, will be a freshman next fall at Peninsula High School. Wow. Really looking forward so to you're, that. So she's keeping you busy at home. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, I, I want to talk a little bit about um, the Chamber of Commerce here because mm -hmm. you do so much great work. How how did you come to the position? How did this okay. all happen? Well, thank you. Um, I was a chamber member. Okay. So um, I have a small business um, with a partner. And uh, when we started our business up about a year and a half ago, I said, well, we have to go join the chamber. So um, it's the thing to do. So yeah, we absolutely. started going to the mixers and getting involved. And of course, you know, having been a long time member of the community, mm -hmm. I knew a lot of people, um, you know, who were already chamber members. And um, found it to be very rewarding and I got to learn more about what the chamber does okay. um, for the community. Um, lots of things that I didn't even, wasn't aware of. Oh yeah. Um, As I'm sure you're finding out now. Uh, now exactly. Yeah. I'm like, oh, we do that. And uh, anyway, so having said that, um, you know, through that I learned of the position and uh, anyway, sent in my resume and here we are. Wow. So, yeah. Was it, I mean, mm -hmm. what was the process like? Was mm -hmm. it, was it a long process? Um, you're such a great personality, oh, so I'm sure you. it was easy. Thank you. Well, no, <laughs> not, you know, but uh, I would say that it was a, in all honesty, it was a very well thought out, very well organized process. Okay. Um, I thought that the board, and I mean this sincerely, and I told them, I think they did an amazing job of putting together a list of requirements and expectations and the job description and what they were looking for, they were very, very clear. That's and good. I've been involved in a lot of searches at the corporate level mm -hmm. and at very, you know, C-level executives, and I've not mm -hmm. seen anything that was quite as well done as this. It was great. Wow. And as a candidate, I always knew the timeline. I knew what was happening next. I knew, you know, what the next steps would or would not be. So, um, so I found it to be a very rewarding and very, um, friendly process to go through, and that that's, was nice. That's yeah. great. You know, I, mm -hmm. I read recently that you were talking about the economic growth and mm -hmm. just the things that are going on in our world right now, and mm -hmm. it's coming back, though, slowly. It's coming yes. back, and this yes. community mm -hmm. community is so tied together to make sure that we all work together, shop locally. Yes. What mm -hmm. are you finding out, mm -hmm. just meeting mm -hmm. people in the community now? Um, I think the Local First campaign that the Chamber launched last um, 
year was yeah. a great idea Very and good. it is has a lot of legs and mm -hmm. we are keeping you know carrying that forward um, you know people do need to think about the fact that our local you know sales tax does stay in our community That's right. and it's a huge source of revenue for you know most of our cities here and even some of our cities that may be more residential than business still benefit um, you know tangentially from it mm -hmm. so um, so it's very very important um, people are aware of it and um, you know I think we just need to keep talking it up how do you get more people involved in the chamber so they really understand what mm -hmm. that process is? is and that's another great question and we we just had our our chamber board retreat this past Saturday. Oh, interesting. Okay. And um, that was absolutely one of the topics that we all brainstormed on. Okay. Um, and we want to make sure that our members, that we are meeting our needs, their needs, that we are relevant for what they want and um, that they are becoming involved. And so we're, we're in the process of trying to revamp and rethink and um, step outside the box a little bit and come up with some new ideas. Um, one of the things that we will be doing is we um, uh, thanks to a $6,000 sponsorship from Marymount College, okay. we are um, going to be launching a lot of new educational programs. Oh, such um, as? Such as, um, you know, decoding social media. Okay. Mm. Um, you know, how does a business go about getting a presence on Facebook, on Twitter, through blogs, through LinkedIn, whatever it might be? And um, we're even envisioning doing that as a two-part program. One is on social media as an overview for business owners. And then the second would be, how do you do it? In other words, bring your laptop, you know, and right. we're going to help you set up a Facebook page or whatever it might be. So that might be one thing. We'd like to do more things to help foster entrepreneurship and startup businesses Interesting. Um, in terms of education. So we're looking. That's one way to do it. Um, we want to reach out and be more warm and welcoming and friendly and get out and talk to our members and invite people to be members um, and bring them in and get them involved on committees. And um, maybe we, you know, we've traditionally done mixers in the morning and in the evenings, and some people have said to us, Gosh, lunchtime's a better time for me. Are you a techie? Are you a computer person? No, I'm not. <laughs> Just In all one honesty, more thing for yes. you to learn, One right? more thing. I've, I've mastered texting because that's the only okay. way I can communicate with my kids. <laughs> exactly. But, uh, no. but, but having said that, I do appreciate the value and how important it is for businesses to have a presence you know, in the social media these days. Well, so. it's so interesting because yeah. when you think of Twitter and then yes. texting mm -hmm. and, and being online and yes. having email, mm -hmm. and everybody sort of prefers a different route to go. Exactly. Now, mm -hmm. we're going to talk about the mm -hmm. street fair because talking about different social media mm -hmm. networks, Everybody loves the street fair. Mm -hmm. It gets bigger every year. This year it's going to be on June 11th and 12th. Yes. So mm -hmm. you really have no time to sleep right now. Anyway. <laughs> We're just going to let her know now that it's going to be very busy. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> and, but it's it's such an amazing event. So let's mm -hmm. really talk about it because I know there's going to be new things this mm -hmm. year. So let's dive right in. I know that um, we were talking earlier about the dog show. Mm -hmm. Bigger than ever. Let's talk yes. about that. Oh, that's great. No, and yeah. thank you for, for saying how wonderful it is. Because as it you is, know, this is the 24th year, and it is amazing. And I have to say that our committee and our volunteers, our board members and our chamber members, have been hard at work on this for, many for the last 12 months. Absolutely. I mean, they start like... You know, this year they'll start on June thirteenth for next year. That's right. So it is huge. So yes. um, thank Over you for 40, recognizing forty thousand people. Over forty thousand people. So great. I mean, it's 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 really amazing. And so it's the biggest party on the hill. It is. The people mm -hmm. coming in from different communities mm -hmm. now they want to come back every year because it's so much fun. Yes, absolutely. It's yes. great. And it's just a very unique event. And I think it really reflects the character of our community. It really um, does. Very well. Yes. So. Now, how and, much shopping do you do when you're there? Um, I do more than I should. I know. <laughs> same with me. It's like the jewelry vendors. Yeah, are just amazing. And we have this year, the variety and the quality of oh. vendors is outstanding. Um, we have over 200 vendors. I'm not talking about the food people, just, oh, you know, all the commercial booths. <laughs> we are in trouble. We're in and trouble. some of them are coming from out of state. Um, a lot of them you would be would be vendors that you might recognize if you go to, you know, some of the regional art fairs and art shows around. Wow. So um, I think, yeah, we need to start saving now. Now? Yeah. <laughs> How do you sort of select who gets to that, come? Um, we, at, we have a formal approval process, and they submit an application, and we take a look at the photos and the references and where else they have um, been and we also look of course for variety because we don't want to have all jewelry vendors exactly. and nothing that would appeal to the gentlemen or the kids or whatever so it's there's a conscious effort to really have a great variety for everyone. That alone is a huge undertaking. It is. It is. It's it's huge, huge undertaking. Yes. And it's all free, of course. We mm -hmm. won't, don't want to forget to mention that because we, we've mm -hmm. got petting zoo. Yes. Pony rides. Yes. Music, great mm -hmm. live music, which mm -hmm. we'll get to in a few minutes. But let's go back to the dog show. Because yes, yes, everybody the dog show, yes. loves the, the dog, dog show. show. Okay. And you were mm -hmm. saying that it's going to be bigger and longer it this is, year. It is. It is. It's so going good. to start. No, thank you. It's going to start with the traditional dog show with all the amazing contests like 
the best kisser, the most wrinkles, the um, you know the best ta tail wag or whatever. Yes. And um, and of course the costume part. And this year's theme, Maria, is superheroes. Love that. So can you imagine? Yes. There's going to be some fun. Chihuahua dressed as Superman or whatever. Exactly. It's going to be so cute. Yes, Batman, so cute. Robin. Yeah. And, right. And the owners get dressed up as well. Oh, as you know. that, okay. that that's so. going to be fun to watch right there. <laughs> So that goes from 10 to 12, and then at noon, they're all going to parade throughout the entire um, street fair. So How you will fun. see this amazing dog parade. Um, and then, and this is the part that is new this year, is um, our big tent area is literally going to the dogs, okay. and we will have a pet expo, and we are so excited that six nonprofit rescue organizations oh. will be there all afternoon. I know it gives me goosebumps. Oh. I have a dog. All afternoon from noon until 6 doing pet adoptions. I, I love that. And I think it brings mm -hmm. so much awareness to people in the community as yes. well because mm -hmm. please adopt a pet because there's so many in mm -hmm. need that need yeah. homes. Mm -hmm. So that's awesome. On top of the shopping, you get yes. to... You get to Add a new member to your family. Exactly, exactly. Yes. And I think it will, the, the whole pet adoption aspect will also bring an entirely new group to the street fair as well. So that'll be really fun. It just extends, you know, the people who will be interested in coming. Absolutely. So now we're when excited about that. The, you were talking about mm -hmm. the, the parade. When yes. is that? Is the parade that, is at noon. At noon. Right. Okay. As soon as the dog show ends, then all the winners and everyone else can parade throughout the entire fair. These animals are going to so, be tired. I know, <laughs> I know. It is quite a workout for them. But then they can go over to the beer and wine tent. There we go. We're all set for that. We're set for that. That's going to be staffed this year by our young professional group, Great. Um, which are all the young professional members of our chamber. And um, they will be staffing that tent and they are so excited about it. Um, and they are going to be, I guess they said yesterday, they told me performing tricks and doing other things because nice. the tips, every tip that they collect, they are donating to the Peninsula Education Foundation. Oh, that's Isn't nice. that great? So yeah, they're very excited, back. yeah, mm -hmm. about partnering with the Ed Foundation and, um, yeah, being able to do that. That's so. nice. And I know there's yeah. more food. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about that. Oh, the food is phenomenal. Yep. Okay, we better not only save our money, but start <laughs> Go going on a diet. diet. now. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, there, we have, we have a, two food court areas this year, and okay. so that's another new and feature. And we used to just have one, is we that right? We just have one. Okay. And so the first First is the one you're familiar with, which has like exciting, I think, I don't know how many hundreds of food vendors they are. The food vendors are sold out. We cannot take any more. It's, it's maxed out. We're still getting people calling and that we're having to fun. say next year, you know, we just apply on the first date. Um, so the food vendor area has everything from Brazilian barbecue to Thai food, Italian, Mexican, and one booth that I understand has everything deep fried. Ooh. Okay, very exciting. Okay. And then we have a secondary area that's new this year, which is all the gourmet food trucks, which as wow. you well know is so popular now. Yeah, quite the rage. And next to that area, we've added a quiet shaded seating area. Which, you know what, I think is great yeah. because you go all day, there are rides, there's live mm -hmm. music, mm -hmm. and sometimes you just want to go somewhere and just relax. Yes, exactly. That's awesome. Yeah, exactly. So that's the place to chill out. Okay. So we're very excited about that. Great. So, um, so the food, I think, is just going to be very, very exciting. So okay. bring your appetite. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> definitely we will do that. Yeah. And of mm -hmm. course the music. Yes. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. I know that Pretzel Logic comes, mm -hmm. the Beatles tribute band. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, let's see, who else do we have? We have uh, Boomer. Boomer. Right. Boomer's always right. awesome. Um, the CCR. Mm -hmm. uh, and David Benoit and the Asian American Symphony, Youth Symphony Orchestra will be playing. And that will yes. be Sunday, is that yes. right? And then yes. everybody else Saturday. Saturday, and I think some of them some on of them Sunday, Sunday as well. Sunday as well. Yes. Yeah, there's a whole um, entertainment schedule that's on our website, which is pvstreetfair.com. Okay, and yeah, so, we'll remember that too for yeah. the show. You know, it's interesting when you talk about the music as well because there are so many favorites. How do you include more? Mm -hmm. I know that mm -hmm. every year somebody mm -hmm. comes in, but they're... It's such a demand to be here. There, it is. It is, and we also have some local groups that perform as well. So um, uh, I think again, it's just an application process, right. and um, it's literally coming down to first come, first serve. But also, we're looking at the quality, and again, a diversity because we want to have different bands for different people. You sure. might like the Beatles tribute bag, right. band, and I might like, you know, the. Uh, the boomer group or whatever. Exactly. So um, we're trying to really mix it up and have something for the kids, the you know the teen teenagers, the older people, the middle aged group, the families, whatever. Right. Let's talk so. about the teen night as well because yes. that's going to be Friday night. Yes. No mm -hmm. parents allowed. Just yes. just teens. Yes. And mm -hmm. I know it was a huge hit last year. It is. It is. There is already a huge buzz. Okay, including my daughter who has gone every year. It starts with um, sixth graders. Okay. And um, it is fifteen dollars and it is unlimited free rides. That's um, 
um, great. Well supervised, but no parents. They get free popcorn. Um, mm -hmm. But my daughter said to me this morning, it's really the free rides, Mom. It she is. Said, you can go on everything for $15, and a portion of the proceeds also benefits the Peninsula Education Foundation. That's great. So, and, and you know yeah. what? Just talking mm -hmm. about the kids coming, there are, there are supervised. Yes, so oh, yes th absolutely, yeah. yes. It's just that like your own mom and dad and, yeah, can't Yeah, your own mom and dad can't come, but other people's can. <laughs> right, so, unless which is it's great. me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think you're going to be able to go. Yeah, you're probably right. Your daughter right. might have something to say about yeah, that. she will. <laughs> okay, so, and, and again, this is completely free. Yes, this free admission. This whole event is mm -hmm. put on by the chamber, by mm -hmm. the sponsors. Yes, Let's yes. talk about the main sponsor. Okay. Thank you so much, yeah. um, because we really do want to thank yes. our sponsors, because without them, it would be impossible well, be to put on this event. Absolutely. Um, and we have a long list of sponsors who you'll see in, in our ads and all our yep. publicity, but I really have to acknowledge our presenting sponsor, so thank you for that. Yeah. It's um, Providence Little Company of Mary Medical Center Torrance, okay. and they're the presenting sponsor for this event, and without their partnership and support, um, we couldn't do this to the extent we are. That's so right. we're very grateful for that. And Eileen, we will definitely be in the street fair, and of course you mm -hmm. will be there as mm -hmm. well. And for more information, where can we go? Um, I would suggest the website, okay. pvstreetfair.com. It'll have all of the details. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for joining us today. Eileen, it was great meeting you. Thank you. All right. Uh, thank and you we for having will, me. Oh, of mm -hmm. course. And we will see you guys at the street fair. I'm Maria Soreo.